Free throws for Tanner Argyle. Oh, Tanner Argyle, I'll just say. Number one, good. And if you're the Dons, this is the guy you probably want at the free throw line. Absolutely. Him and Austin Thor. Certainly. Argyle has missed a free throw tonight, however. Now four of five. Second one on the way. Make it five of six. He's got 17 points to lead all scorers. And a timeout on the floor. 3.08 remaining. 47-43 for the Spanish Fort Dons. Again, let's thank our sponsors, the car guys, State Farm Insurance, Lance Wilson, State Farm Insurance. They're playing off the good neighbor, being their idea as an assist. So we're going to go ahead and give every nice assist we see or you see. Anytime you see a solid assist, think of Lance Wilson, State Farm Insurance. It doesn't even need to be in this game, Chris. And maybe somebody gives you a donut of work. That's a great assist. Yeah, we also want to thank Triple T, Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, along with MVP Sports, who sponsors tonight's MVP of the game, along with the car guys. Two jacks. Who am I missing? SFCN. SFCN. I think the key to this game, Alan, is who can calm down and hit those free throws. I think it's honestly both teams are going to commit a lot of fouls. The intensity is up. The refs are jacked up, I think, as well. Uh, you know, I, I was kind of told this a long time ago. Maybe it's just because, I don't know. They said uh, I used to officiate games, and I think it was Matt Marziel who runs Salem's Recreation now. But back then, when we'd do a little seminar for the officials, would remind us to sit, stay subdued as an official because you don't want games to get out of control and officials can participate in that. Span Salem Hills with the ball. Caleb DeGraff and Reed works it to Webster. They look underneath. Dean, or excuse me, Nelson trapped back to the corner. Three ball on the way and good. The bucket made. Cameron Morris, his first of the game, and Salem Hills to within one. Yeah, within one. That was a huge shot by Cameron Morris, and that's just what the Skyhawks need. Jax Tobiasen back out to Argyle. Tanner to the base. Tanner, reverse layup, score it. He's going to need to take this over for this. Yeah, he has the capability of taking it over. He just needs not... He doesn't need to force any shots late in this game. He has a tendency to do that, take his time, but that was a great play by Argyle. Nearing two minutes left in the three-point contest. 49-46 is your score. Salem Hills with the ball on their end. Webster, I think, picked that off from Nelson. <laughs> Had to, everybody was flying to the ball that time. Up top, Morris, back out, Nelson, three, no, and a rebound to the Dons. Jax Tobiasen playing his part on the defensive end. Great rebound by Tobiasen that time, and maybe the Dons got lucky by being the graphic read, not picking up that foul, although he would be out of the game. Up top, Hales takes it to the base, or to the key, kicks it back out. Argyle, up top, three ball and a foul. That's a three-shot foul as Tanner Argyle will go to the line for him. And this can really put a hammer in the, the hopes of Salem Hills. Yeah, if, if he makes all three of these shots, it definitely makes it a two, I mean, two possession, possession, game, possession yeah. game, and both of them need to be threes. First for Tanner. Nothing but net. Looks like he's got ice water running through his veins as that first one would hit nothing but the net. 20 points now for Tanner Argyle. It's coming on. I mean, his first quarter had 11 points, only two points each in the second and third. Now he's really starting to become, again, that scoring impact player for Spanish Fork when it matters most. Free throw number two. Yes, sir. One more. It's nice to see him get up there in, what, 22 right now? Yeah, 21. 
Well, they're showing 22 on the board. I think they're wrong, to be honest with you. <laughs> I honestly believe so. It's got 21 then. Yeah, I'm saying 21. We got a little delay. I don't know what. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if they're looking for someone's teeth out there right now. <laughs> The way this second Might be half some, is going. Some blood there on the floor somewhere, yeah. I'm sure. I've seen less physical football games. Yeah, see, two teams have played less physical football games against each other. Yeah. All three knocked down by Argyle. He has 22, and the Dons with a six-point lead. Yeah. Salem Hills, not a ton of time to waste. Three ball by Nelson. Way off. Rebound to Bambro, it was on the line, Spanish Fork ball. And you're gonna get fouled here if you're Spanish Fork, so you gotta find who your best free throw shooters are and get them the ball. I have an idea who that might be. So they're gonna throw it to Tobias and instead. <laughs> Our Argyle out front, he needs to just pull it out. Keep that ball moving. And it's nearly stolen away, Argyle gets it back. Looks. They're trying to foul. <laughs> Knowles gets it back to Argyle and are trying to foul, and they get one. It's Tanner Argyle will go to the line for two more. And 47 ticks left. And that's some uh, fancy dribbling by Argyle, or that's uh, actually Hell's going Hell, to throw one. Or no, is, Argyle. It is Argyle. It's just the camera guy tricking us. Yeah, he got us. That was some great dribbling that time. And that's the guy I. I think if you're Coach Jesse Roberts, you want the ball in his hand making those free throws. Absolutely. Eight of nine tonight. First one. Drains it. Now they're getting it right, I think, on that scoreboard. I knew I was right the whole time. <laughs> the 23 right now. 23 of the 53, that is huge. Yeah, that is a big offensive impact as the second one drops. 24 of 50, that's nearly half. Spanish Fork, don't foul the three-point shooters here. DeGraff and Reed, and one. Caleb DeGraff and Reed, that is. I guess I should have mentioned, don't foul the guy going into the layup <laughs> either. Yeah, at some point, you almost want to just give them freebies. Yes. If you're Salem, though, you got to Think about just fouling as soon as you can if you don't get that initial skill. Yeah. Seeing if you can extend this game. Yeah, for sure. And to make sure it's not in Argyle's hand. Free throw good for DeGraff and Reed, and a quick whistle and foul as Austin Fire will go to the line for two. Austin's a, another excellent free throw shooter here. We'll see if he uh, can up withstand this pressure, though. Yeah, I was going to say he hasn't been to the line tonight, so. Free throw shot is not one he's fam familiar with this evening. Drains the first. 14 for him. No question about that one either. One more on the way. 38 seconds left. Drops it. And the Dons back up by seven. This one pretty much in the bag if the Dons can avoid fouls. Nearly picked one up right there. Three ball, missed by Nelson, rebound to the Dons. Jump ball. Seen a lot of jump balls tonight. That's kind of unusual. Sam Higginson just stuck his head in the way of our camera, and we got to apologize for that and just out, throw him out there under the bus. Sam Higginson's head was blocking the scoreboard. It's not a picture anybody wants to see. <laughs> Three ball, no, and Spanish Fork comfortably can pull this one now. Argyle, you might even want to go, oh. go ahead and take the 10-second call. Boyer saves it, <laughs> Hales gets it across, and, and a foul. And we out. And well, they blow a whistle and a foul against number two, That ball, Morris. That ball nearly stolen the foul. Jesse Roberts wants a timeout, and uh, mass chaos. Don's got lucky, though, that time they didn't turn it over. Yeah, at this point, there's no need for a timeout or anything. I mean, even if it was 20 seconds, just whatever. As long as you don't continue to turn it over, I guess. Garrett knocks it down. That's a second point. We'll get one more. We throw good. 
Eight point lead for the Dons. Jimmy DeGraff and Reed is not going to use timeouts here, I don't believe. The Dons are just that. needing to shift guys in and out of this contest. They can't figure out who they want out there. Who's in, who's out? I don't know. He, he wants them out there. He got a nine point lead with 12 seconds left. I don't think it really is going to make. I think he wants to substitute offense for defense, but it's all yeah. for not because it's going to take a huge miracle for Salem Hills to win this thing. Yeah, and uh, nine seconds on it. DeGraff and Reed, Caleb misses and a foul. Courtesy call, if you will, by the underneath official. As the rest of us want the game to end, the official uh, will go ahead and extend it here for a few more seconds. <laughs> right. To the free throw line, Caleb DeGraff and Reed. For Salem Hills, he's got 12, now 13, to lead the way for the Skyhawks. I must say, this has been quite the entertaining matchup, and if you're a Spanish Fork Dons fan, it's uh, gonna be a huge way to start region play. Absolutely. So one more free throw coming for Caleb DeGraff and Reed. On the way, good. Seven seconds left, Salem Hills still not giving up. Ball knocked wow. away and a foul against Salem Hills. Now you gotta be worried about somebody getting injured because. Yeah. And that was awkward the way Garrett Hales went down right there. Garrett's not the, the biggest guy. I mean, he's a, he's a competitor, but. Certainly. But a big win for Spanish Fort to start region play. Free throw number one, no good for Garrett. Now three of six from the line. That's where all of his points have come from. One more, got it. So four for him. Game ticking down. Three ball on the way by Nelson, no good. And that is the way it's going to end, 59. 51 for the Spanish Fort Dons. We'll take a quick break and recap the game when we come back here on Spanish Fort 17. Hi, welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fort or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? In Spanish Fork, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent Lance Wilson, for your insurance and financial needs. Big win for the Spanish Fork Dons to begin region play against the Salem Hills Skyhawks, a 59-51 victory. And the Dons, I'm telling you, Chris, that, that was a that was a beat em up, bruise em up contest. I thought for a minute there we were watching some Monday night football action. It was, might have been rugby, might have been Monday night football, but the intensity was high. Uh, players were flying all over the place. There's going to be some icy hot, I think, needed tonight as well. Maybe some ivy profile. We'll have to see. But, wow, that was a huge win for the Dons. Yeah, big contest, a big win. You got to give credit to Jimmy DeGraff and Reed and the Salem Hill Skyhawks. They put together a competitive game. Yeah, they They've did. They've fallen down pretty big in that first half. Got some momentum, brought themselves back into the contest, and uh, really put pressure on the Dons. But the Dons, they overcame uh, and overwhelmed Salem Hills here on their home floor. Right. They, uh, Spanish Fort built them a 13-point lead there in the first half, and Salem Hills battled back to get that to a one-point lead. We want to thank tonight's sponsor of our MB MVP of the game, and it's MVP Sports. Who do you pick as your MVP of the game tonight, we're gonna, Chris? We're gonna go with Tanner Argyle. He had 24 total points. He started off hot as a pistol there in the first <laughs> quarter with 11 yeah. of those, and that really set the tone for this ball game. Yeah, he had 11 points in the first quarter, only had two in each of the second and third quarter, but then had another big fourth quarter to end up with 24 points, had nine in that fourth quarter. And then it, it was his free throws that really right. helped push the Dons over the top because he was the one that was accepting the majority of those fouls. Yeah, I believe he had seven free throws in that fourth yeah. quarter, and that's huge. And that's, and you know, we mentioned during the broadcast when we thought it might come down to free throws, and Spanish Fort 
sure answered the call when they needed to from behind the stripe. Yeah, close second though, Austin Thoyer. He came in, had a dead first quarter, but stayed steady and, and uh, knocked down three three-pointers for yeah, the Spanish Fork huge. Dons and ended with 15 points. Well, if you're Spanish Fork, you've got to be happy with this first win, but you can't be satisfied because they've got another game coming up Tuesday. I believe it's Wasatch. It'll be here on Channel 17. Yes. Also, Maple Mountain that same Tuesday will be on Channel 16 in this very venue against yep. the Skyhawks. So you get to see two back-to-back -back games here if you're a Maple Mountain and a Spanish Fork fan. Interchange both. You can channel surf. That's right. But once again, though, we want to thank MVP Sports for sponsoring tonight's MVP of the game. They are located at 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. 7983587 is a number. And we want to thank all our sponsors of tonight's game. The Car Guys, located at 872 North Main. Lance Wilson State Farm at 220 North Main. Triple T Heating and at Cooling and Plumbing at around 1500 North Main. Two Jacks Pizza at 30 North Main. We love Main Street and we love our sponsors along with Spanish Fork Community Network, certainly built for speed and the uh, Spanish Fork 17, a part of that, Chris. But again, a solid 59-51 win for the Dons. Yeah, and that's huge and the, hopefully they can build on that momentum and see if they can't compete for that region championship. My early favorite pick will be Maple Mountain, so we should have some good basketball played on the Channel 17 and Channel 16 this season. Payson also uh, going to be in the mix. Wasatch also going to be in the mix. I mean, this right. is going to be a tough, tough region. It's going to be maybe the black and blue region if you look at it in 4A ranks. Yeah, if, any, if tonight was any indication, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of ice applied this season. Absolutely. But again, we want to thank all those who helped make this game possible. Again, your final score, 59 for the Dons. 51 for the Skyhawks. I'm Alan Huff, along with Chris Hurst. From everybody from Spanish Fork 17, we thank you for joining us. And until next time, so long from Salem Hills High School. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T heating and cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork.